Well, the, the old man of the, the <laughs> Sevens game should probably talk about what evolutions have you seen? Has yeah. it changed? Um, so, yeah, I first played in 2008 and it was very much a uh, meet up as a squad just before flying away to a tournament, playing the tournament, coming home and actually going back to 15s. Then um, I did a couple of years of that and then 2010 England offered contracts for the first time and that sort of saw the start of the change of the, of the game, both in England and the, and the world, as all the other teams wanted to move, sort of move to that sort of profile. Yeah, and professional, isn't yeah. it? Year on year, it's it's got bigger and better and, mm. and more competitive on the World Series. And I think what's great about sevens compared to fifteens is that you have those teams that might not be seen as sort of world beaters in fifteens can, can be very competitive in sevens and create something great for the crowd and. Um, and, and for us playing means that you've got to be on, on top of the game for the, for the whole tournament if you want to succeed. Yeah, I think sevens is raw, isn't it? In the sense that you know, if you've got speed and, and pace and, and power, you can utilise that. But then in the same way, you don't have the same instances of like scrums and, and lineouts yeah. in the same way of stoppages and, and whatever. So the game is, is quick and it flows. And I think that's got even more so in the last sort of four or five years. Like they've tried to stop like slowly time wasting down, slowly yeah. getting down so there's more ball in play so there is more action it's more you know, there's more happening there's more offloads and everything like that because the, the way that they want the game to be portrayed is about athletic and, and is, I think that's that's probably the biggest change isn't it like the athleticism from yeah. sort of over the last 10 years where sports science has got involved and you know, pace and everything like that has become such a big thing in it. It used to be sort of the quick guys playing and now they've, you know, got guys coming across from athletics and, and things like that that are... Yeah, know. I think that's probably been like that since it, the Olympics got announced as, as part of, um, of the game and it's, it's allowed guys to sort of choose the sevens route as an opportunity to go and showcase yeah. their skills in front of the world as opposed to just playing on a World Series or for a club week in, week out. But yeah, it's certainly changed for the better and... and uh, keeps everyone interested in them. The fans seem to love it as well because it's a bit easier to understand. Yeah. Sort of shorter games but more space and easy to follow. The like the coverage of it's improved as well, hasn't it? Because obviously it's a global um, global event, you know, the series and stuff like that. But being on TV and then going to all these nice stadiums, locations, stuff like that, that means that the game's growing. And I guess you've seen it yourself firsthand, being involved for 50 years. Sorry, I mean 10 years. Um, you know, you, you've seen it develop in that time, I guess. Yeah, you? yeah. The crowds have definitely improved. I mean, London's probably the best example where, when I started, it was just a lower tier open and um, it hit its peak of 83,000 one year and just shows how, how much the, the crowd is getting involved with, with the game of sevens and I'm wanting to be a part of it. Yeah. The, the crowds actually have been the biggest change. Um, the support that the game has. Um, I, th I think when I first started, um, people thought it was a bit of a jolly going, <laughs> going off on these, these trips around the world and playing rugby. And um, I think there's a, a real appreciation and understanding of how hard we have to work to perform at the levels we do. Um, and the sort of skills that are, are on showcase when, when we go out and play. Uh, Definitely, like obviously, big tournaments like the Olympics help with that. But the coverage, as I said earlier, has, has got bigger, allowing more people to watch and, and more people to become engaged with it. And I think that's going to carry on growing over the next few years. I think the sport's developed, hasn't it? You know, like in terms of what it shows, so the the, the speed, the skills, and everything like that. I think that that being involved, like you have for so long, maybe you've just sort of gone with it and it's developed almost yeah. around you. But from my perspective, looking in from sort of the last four years or whatever it is. Even then, like the physical demands needed in terms of fitness scores, speeds, you know, ability to actually catch and pass the ball and stuff like that, that has been you know, the demands that are set there are better than they were four years ago. Yeah. You know, and, and I think that's globally as well. You know, each team's thinking, right, okay, we've got to get a minimum score on this fitness test, which I imagine most teams have probably increased their scores yeah, yeah. in the last three or four years, like, like we have. You know, a minimum standard is this, and that's acceptable to play the game. Yeah. And so I think the, the athleticism of all of all of it is, is improved as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I played for the Cornish Pirates um, in the championship, and it it was a it was a thing that when I was at university, I played a few sevens games and things like this. Um, and uh, Ben Ryan, who at the time was the coach of the England sevens. Um, he'd sort of spoken to me and said that my skill set and the way that I played the game would be quite suited to the game of sevens. Um, I wanted to 
commit to 15s and give that a real go because in the same way that Rodder spoke about people saw it as a bit of a jolly you know I thought oh it would be quite a fun thing to do but I didn't really know much about it so I I played 15s and I played at Pirates for three years um, and you know and I loved it being down there like you know they're they're a really close team and we're really fortunate to have some awesome players when we were down there we, we played underneath a, a Kiwi head coach that wanted us to play rugby so I think that helped me in terms of I was I was at a team where we threw the ball around we actually played rugby um, and then at my time there I'd almost reached sort of a, a glass ceiling in terms of where I could get to in terms of the 15 man game whether that be size ability and, and things like that and, and and Ben so the coach who was there he he said you know I'd love you to come play sevens and so I'd almost been putting him off for three years saying oh no I want to give 15s a go and then the Olympics came around in terms of it's going to be in the Olympics and I thought right this is where I make my decision whether I try and stay in 15s and fight it out or I make this decision to sort of take a tangent and go and play rugby sevens and hopefully fingers crossed become an Olympian um, and so that was what made my decision and so I, I was obviously really happy now looking back that I made a choice um, and I think in hindsight I should have made a choice quite a bit earlier but it's one of those that your life experiences and that change don't they and and I've really enjoyed my time playing sevens and I've developed no end and I'm a much better rugby player now than I was when I was playing in the championship. Um, and so if I'd have maybe have done sevens first, it might have changed my 15s career, all that sort of stuff, you never know. Um, but the way that it's developed me now, and even as a human being, like traveling around the world, seeing all these different cultures, you know, and unfortunately being friends with people like James Rodwell, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's an incredible thing. Um, but no, it just, it's just a nice thing to be involved with and I'm very fortunate and very lucky to, to be a part of it because it's such a fun thing to do. Um, well, they just just announced the news that it's going to stay in the Olympics post Tokyo, which is great for the game, um, and it also shows how well received it was by um, the worldwide audience and and the Olympic movement, which you know, as a pinnacle of our game, it's only going to make the game grow um, yeah. at a great rate. Um, 